Hey everyone, a quick tutorial here to look at uh, simple list box functionality. Uh, the list box implements what's called an items collection, it allows us to store multiple values in list format and allows us to programmatically access the, that items list uh, in a very easy way. So we'll just take a look at some simple functionality. We'll add a list box. So I'm going to go to toolbox, drag a list box onto our, our form here. One, one important property that you can set uh, is the, the starting list or the default list and that's in the property called items and this is just a value per line list of items to add to our default list box. So uh, let's red, green, blue. Uh, and you can see what we added in that items collection uh, now appears inside of our text box. Uh, and there's, it's really easy to interact with the list box. Let's just take a look at some of the functionality. So we'll add an item. We'll show an item based on the item value. We'll, we'll remove an item based on the uh, item value. We'll show a value based on the index. So this is, again, a list collection and um, an items collection. And each one of these has an index. So uh, it starts with index 0. So red is at index 0 green is at index 1 and blue is at index 2. We can actually access the items in our, our list using that index. We can also remove an item based on the index and we can get a quick count of how many items are in our list. So let's go ahead and do that. First let's add an item. So the way that we add an item is uh, again by add it, by accessing the items collection we'll say list box and we added a list box 1 dot items dot add. It's that easy and we're going to add what's inside of text box one dot text. Okay, I just want to do some some uh, some simple checking here. I'm just going to say uh, if and text box one. We just want to make sure that the the text inside of text box one. That, that there is some some text. So I'll just say if the length is greater than zero, uh, then we want to actually add that to our list. And then I, I also want to uh, just say text box one dot clear, uh, just to to make sure that we don't add this, try to add the same value over and over and over again. So I'm going to go ahead and run this, and we'll see that. By calling listbox one dot items dot add, we're going to add the value inside of our text box. So we'll add yellow, purple, and now you can see we've added two values at the end. Okay, let's go ahead and add some more functionality here. We'll jump back to the design view, and let's get a quick count. So. We'll just say message box to pop up a simple message box. And list box one dot, and again we're going to go to the items collection and count. So this, this property count is just going to tell us how many items we have in our list box control. So if we click get count, you can see that there are currently three items. Remember, just like using arrays, we're starting at index zero, so while there are three items it's actually index 0, 1, and 2. So if we add a, a value, now we can see there are four items in our list box. Pretty easy so far, right? List box is really easy to use. So now let's say show item and what we're going to do in this example is we, we just want to show the value that uh, is currently selected by the user. So we'll say list box one dot items dot and it's uh, selected item. I'm sorry, not items. Select list box one dot selected item, and then we we it, what that's going to return is going to return the um, the object 
for the selected item, we want to convert it to a string to show the value. Okay, so we select green, we click show item, and you can see it, it's going to output the two string value for green. Uh, we can also uh, grab the index. So I'm going to grab the same statement here. Instead of saying selected item, we want to say selected index. So listbox one dot selected index. So whatever the user has highlighted, if it's red, we're going to see index zero. If it's blue, we'll see index two. Okay, using those items, item values or the index, we can actually also remove an item. So uh, there's two ways to remove an item from our uh, list box items collection. The first way is to use a remove. So I'll say list box one dot items dot remove. And if we use remove, we're gonna use the item. So I'll say list box one dot selected item. Okay, the second way to do it is using the index. And a uh, similar statement, except this time, uh, instead of remove, we're going to re use a remove at. And in this case, we're going to use the index. So uh, in the items collection, if we use a, a dot remove or remove method, we're we have to pass in the value that we want to remove. If we want to remove a particular index that's index uh, from the list, um, we're going to use the index. So, so in this case, what we're doing is we're detecting what the user has highlighted or selected, and then we're passing in that selected index or selected item. You don't necessarily need to do that. You can just pass in uh, value for the index. That would work fine as well. So we've got remove and we've got remove at. Remove is the value, remove at is the index. Let's go ahead and execute that. So uh, let's add a couple values here. Uh, so we'll add yellow, we'll add orange. Okay, so let's go ahead and again, we can show the item, we can show the index. Uh, now we're going to pass in the value of blue to the remove method and you can see it removed it from the from the list box. Uh, now we've got index 3 highlighted and we're going to pass that into the remove at method and you can see it removes that value. So we have the items collection we can use the add method to add a value. We can use the count property of the items collection to, to view how many items are in our list box at any given time. We can use the selected item to string to view the value of the item. We can use the selected index property of the list box itself to see which item is currently selected. Uh, we can use the items collection remove method to actually remove an item uh, based on the value of the item. And we can use the items collections remove at method to remove an item at a particular index. So there's some quick uh, functionality with the li list box. It's really easy to use. Uh, it's nice for a user to interact with. Um, allows us to, to keep a list view uh, collection of items. Thanks.